The why of Neuralink, uh, just to, to go over it, is I think it's important for us to address brain-related diseases. Um, the, the, everyone, if, they, if you survive cancer and heart disease, the odds are that you will have uh, some brain-related disorder. So it'll be like Alzheimer's or, or dementia. And if you don't, uh, friends and family will, for sure. Um, and I think unless we have some sort of brain-machine interface uh, that can solve uh, brain ailments of all kinds, whether it's an accident or uh, congenital or any kind of brain-related disorder, uh, in, in, or, or a spinal disorder, if you know somebody who's uh, broken their neck or broken their spine, uh, we can solve that with a chip. And, and this is something that I think most people don't uh, quite understand yet. And we're going to go over in detail how this is possible. Um, but I, th I think there's there's an incredible amount we can do to, to solve um, brain disorders, act, uh, damage, um, and, and all this will, will occur actually, I think, quite slowly. Um, so I do want to emphasize that it's not going to be like suddenly uh, Neuralink will have this incredible neural lace and start taking over people's brains. Okay. It, it will take a long time. <laughs> um, so and, and, and you'll see it coming. So getting, getting FDA approval for implantable or devices of any kind is quite quite difficult, um, and this will be a slow process where we will gradually increase the um, issues that we solve until ultimately we can do a full uh, brain machine interface, uh, meaning that we can in, uh, ultimately. Yeah, this is going to sound pretty weird, but. Um, achieve a sort of symbiosis with artificial intelligence. So uh, but th this, is, this is not a mandatory thing. Um, this is a thing that you can choose to have if you want. Um, and and uh, this, this is something I think is going to be really important um, at a civilization level scale. So, um, and I, I've, I've said a lot about AI over the years, uh, but I, I think even in a benign AI scenario, we will be left behind. Um, and so and hopefully it is a benign scenario. Um, but I think with um, a high bandwidth brain machine interface, I think we can actually go along for the ride. Um, and we can effectively have the option of merging with AI. I think this is extremely important. 